The following is a presentation of Muddy River News. Instant Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. Hey everybody, welcome to the Daily Muddy. I'm Ashley Conrad. Joining me today, Gregory Hobrick, our neighbor and friend from, uh, is it upstairs? You guys are upstairs, right? We are upstairs. Yeah, yeah. WGCA uh, 88.5 The Mix, which uh, is a Christian rock. Is it Christian, Christian rock? It's not all rock, right? Well, it's called contemporary Christian music. Okay. We play a big variety yeah. from country to hip hop and all in between. Right, and it's great music. Thank you. Yeah, I love. Yeah, we think uh, so. I love listening to it. Uh, I flip through when I'm not listening to podcasts. I flip through, and it's it's generally one of the stations I stop on, even before I realize that it's uh, contemporary Christian, because I just love I love the music itself. So Good. Uh, very cool. That's and awesome. yeah, speaking of music, uh, casting crowns. All right, I think everybody has heard of casting crowns. Um, I know that they are a Christian, Christian rock band, right? right? Very popular. Very popular. Yeah. Yeah, they started in uh, 1999. Uh, the Mark Hall, who's the lead singer, was a youth pastor at the time. It's really awesome to see them in concert. He struggles with um, dyslexia. Oh. So when he speaks, he has a problem with it. And when he sings, it doesn't affect him very much. He just tries Wild. to. He has to do everything in their concert and kind of like a routine so he stays on schedule with the lyrics and everything because it all kind of ties in with him being able to like recall and, and yeah and, and to yeah. grasp it all huh. so it's pretty interesting Very but interesting. he started out uh, involved in a youth group and uh they were playing um a bunch of people had gotten together to do youth group worship and they were saying you, you should do something with this you know so they decided to uh, start making uh, making records and um, they're still involved in youth ministry today but uh, in the past what 20 years they've won a Grammy they've won a number of Dove Awards great songs like who am I who I am uh, voice of truth life song praise you in the storm courageous that was a, even made into a movie uh, called courageous really i don't know if you ever it's a great movie Didn't know that. but um, check it out yeah so a lot of uh, great music they've been doing this for quite a while uh they're coming up with uh, coming out with a 20th anniversary album that is actually other artists recording their songs and then they're doing a 20th anniversary tour with a symphony and that starts in April. So the cool thing about them coming to Quincy is that this is a warm-up concert. Yeah, they're just, they're just they're getting ready to, to test it all out. Yeah, and see how it's going to go. Well, we'll take the, it. War, yeah, definitely. So um, especially here in Quincy, because in the tri-state area, Casting Crowns is one of the favorite groups. They've been here like twice before, and every time they just it sells like crazy. Yeah, which is the case again. This yeah, I was going to say. So when you came in, you said there were like maybe eight tickets left, and that was, uh, yeah, maybe right. Yeah. Uh, probably gone by now, I would but assume, we, yeah. we had about, uh, 1800, a little over that to wow. sell and they sold very rapidly. And this, is this at the Oakley or no, this is at this junior is, high, right? Yeah. Quincy yeah, junior Morrison. high school's Morrison theater. Yeah. It's on wow. Saturday, March the 2nd. And, uh, I guess it doesn't help to promote it a whole it lot. Do, I mean, no, but it is cool out. that they're coming here because, you know, not just because of their popularity, but. Uh, the following that they have, especially in Quincy, is amazing. Yeah. And uh, the fact that they're coming here and um, kind of getting more and more people to rally behind them as they move on to their next project, their next adventure. That's just awesome. Yeah. I love it. Um, but that's not all. I mean, we have all kinds of stuff to talk about. So when we first booked we this, we were talking about casting uh, uh, crowns, but then it was like, well, they're, they're probably going to be sold out. Well, that's all right. We got other stuff. So you came in right. and you were talking about Hootie Who. <laughs> all right. And I know this is just, it's so off topic, but I love it because it, there, there are things that I've never heard of. And I love to kind of share the wealth with other people who may not have heard of it. So sure. tell us what it is. So uh, Hootie Who Day, I've been talking about this on the radio for a long time. So I, I you know, would assume that people know what it is, especially if you don't know what it is. It's going to be really weird to see somebody do it. Yeah, because, I can't wait. <laughs> um, a month before spring, um, you are supposed to at noon go outside, wave your hands in the air, 
crazily and say hootie hoo and anyway and it brings um, spring it's brings supposed warmer to, weather, right? to chase winter away bring spring in early but on a day like today i don't think we need to no, really worry about gorgeous. that yeah but I mean, any reason to act a fool. I mean, not that a lot of people need that excuse, <laughs> but sometimes sometimes it, it feels good to get out and, you know, holler and play around a little bit. So yeah, people well, might you look at you it, there, but if, if you oh, like. I'm definitely doing you know. it. Yeah, I'm definitely doing it. It's not right now. Not right now, no. <laughs> but I do recommend, uh, you know, maybe even if you have neighbors that look at you oddly anyway, just go out and throw the hootie hoo and wave your arms around. We all, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's something fun. We can all use something like that every once in right. a while, right? So what else is going on? Well, we had a mixed date night, um, Friday night, and that was excellent. We had uh, just a night for couples to come to Town & Country and in Suites. We had uh, JJ's Catering. We had a, a balloon um, area where you could, you know, a photo booth. Okay. Uh, we had um, uh, a lot of people there, even though it snowed and was a little bit icy. I think only one couple didn't make it out of everybody who had registered. Uh, we had a group from Nashville called Love in the Outcome. It's a husband and wife duo. We play a lot of their music on the mix. They came, talked about their marriage, played their music. And um, during dinner, we had uh, Logan Cameron do uh, some background music. He did a great job. He's, He's on our staff. Up yeah, the mix yeah. As well. we, we had him on here not so, too long ago. He's he's just one of a kind. Yeah, yeah he's, a lot of he's fun. A great day. He's a great so day. we had a really good night that night, and um, then you know the Casting Crowns concert, of course, coming up. We do uh, later on this summer the Moonlight Ride for Hunger, yeah. which is that bike ride that goes across both Quincy bridges. If we can pull it off, if you can if do they, that this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Allow both bridges. Um, that's always a really great time for families. Just an evening bike ride. Uh, We've got the women's conference coming up, and um, we work with Love and Fire Women's Ministries to put that on every year. And then share which is our uh, annual fundraiser in October. It's kind of like, for us, it's kind of like a start to the holidays. It's like we have share and then you get right into to uh you know thanksgiving and christmas gotcha. and all that gotcha. and the the fun thing for us about the holidays is that we've uh, the past many years have gone to all christmas music from thanksgiving to new year's so when people are looking down the you know across the dial for christmas music right. they, they find us they can find it yeah which, which is a good time yeah and we really like that um we will have some more concerts later this year we just don't know who yet They'll be getting getting out the fall schedules and approaching us about, you know, hosting different bands here and that. Perfect. But um, just for everybody who wants to know, we have a thing called the Mix Music Crew. You text the word crew to 217-223-7700. You get a link back. It's free. You just join that. And then everything that we do, we uh, concerts, events, whatever it is, we'll send out an early notice and give people like early ticket access and things like that. Oh, so it's kind of like so VIP you, you access to, yeah, that's yeah. excellent. I love so it. So if people would like to do that and, um, you know, that's about it. We just continue every day to play positive hits and do what we do. It's kind of, uh, unique about, uh, the mix is that our staff is fully local which for radio stations these days, it's that unheard is of. highly uncommon. Yeah. I don't know, that, that, and I don't want to, you know, I'm not trying to brag about it or anything. I just don't know if you could go out and find a radio station anymore, anywhere that has an entire local staff yeah. on the air anytime that you I think you should brag about that. On. I think you should, because so. it's important for our community. It's important for the people who live in, and work here, of course. And you guys do a bang up job of everything, everything that you do. And, uh, yes. you know, not just the, not just the music and, you know, the, the radio personalities and the people that work uh, WGCA, but everything you guys do it seems to you seem to knock it out of the park so keep it up and and i do recommend uh you know i guess it would be like you're subscribing to to the yeah you just sign up okay yeah to that uh, we also have a we've got the mixed music crew we've got a daily power verse where you get a email every morning um with a power verse for the day and a devotional which is really cool a lot of people love that comes out around 7 a.m and uh, everything's on our website at wgca.org as well excellent and people can listen online and you know check out the staff and our weekly video spotlight and all the great things there very cool now do you get to so. attend the concert 
Oh yeah, yeah. I, I I'm the guy that gets to go out ahead and like do the introductions. There which you I go. Really, I love that. Heck That's yeah. always, always a great time. That's awesome. So, well, Gregory, it was uh, great talking to you. And you. Uh, good luck and enjoy the concert and everything else coming up. Uh, you know, before before we uh, come back with coffee talk. Greg and I are going to run outside and hootie hoo real quick, right? Okay. All right. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Stay tuned. <laughs> I think look to the sky and wave your hand. Okay. Are you yeah. ready? Okay. You ready we just this? yell hootie hoo. Hootie hoo. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Okay. You ready? Go. Hootie hoo. Hootie hoo. Hootie hoo. Hootie hoo. Is that it? Okay. <laughs> we did it. We- the Liquor Booth is your home for a huge selection of beer, wine, and spirits. The Liquor Booth has two locations in Quincy, 3520 Broadway and 1500 North 12th Street. The Liquor Booth, where it's always happy hour. Welcome to the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. With six big screens, a new larger kitchen, and now more seating capacity, the Abbey is the place to be before, during, and after the big game. Come enjoy fan favorite Abbey Tizers, steaks, burgers, and a variety of daily food and drink specials. Can't join us? Carryout is available too. Now with a convenient drive up window to better serve you. 1736 Spring in Quincy. Opens at 3 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday. Come join all your friends at the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. The Tower, a great place to meet and eat. But did you know the Tower has one of the finest drink selections in our area? Along with its incredible Mexican menu, the Tower specializes in tequilas for every taste. Names like Patron, Cabo Wabo, and Hornitos. And don't forget the margaritas. On Mondays and Tuesdays, stop by and pick up a single topping pizza and get Tower margaritas to go. Enjoy the Tower at home or in our dining room, bar area, or the Tower's signature climate-controlled porch. The Tower Pizza and Mexican in Quincy. Are you looking for the perfect venue for your next special event? Check out Utopia Event Center. Utopia has a large banquet room and an awesome bar area, perfect for anything from birthday parties to formal corporate meetings. It also offers a photo booth, stage for a DJ or a live band, and a fully stocked bar, all for only $300. Check us out at utopiaeventcenter.com or call Barn at 217-430-6559 for more information. Utopia Event Center, 900 North 12th Street in Quincy. Kelly's has been a fun place to eat and drink in Quincy since 1982. A fun and friendly atmosphere, food with flavor, homemade cinnamon rolls, and famous cheese soup. The best menu in town. Kelly's, 2902 Broadway, Quincy. And we're back and it's time for Coffee Coffee Talk. Talk. How's it going, Britt? Good, how are you? I was sitting here going, I couldn't couldn't collect (laughs) myself long enough. Sometimes the funniest things happen right before we hit go, yeah. and it kind of carries into it. Anyway, so uh, how are things going? They're going. How are you? Good, actually. I can't complain. Volleyball, I think, is coming to uh, – I don't want to say it's coming to a close. They have regionals coming up, and I'm hoping that they go the distance. Uh, they've been playing really, really well, and it's exciting and fun, and um, work's been going great and family stuff, and my house is a mess, but who, who cares? That's – yeah, part of course. I, am. I, I feel like anytime I'm, I'm the type of person that likes to stay super, super busy. That way, I don't focus on um, the little things that yeah. don't matter or the things that stress me out. But then, in turn, I sometimes find myself getting so busy that I'm stressed out from being so busy. So yeah, you win, you can't win. No, for it's lose, lose. Yeah. And the, and I feel like you know, most of the time we have so many uh, things that we're trying to juggle. One eventually has to fall, and I choose a clean house. Yeah, I think that uh, it's one of the best ones. I feel like it's the one yeah. that you know it's not doing any harm to anyone except for maybe my mental, you know, because I work from home. Yes. So if things are kind of messy, it does stress me out a little bit. But I'm like, yeah, yeah. I don't there know. Will, there will come a day when I can dust those fans. That's yeah. That's my thing that I need to do. Other than yeah. that, I I'm pretty. I don't know. We're kind of on it. Yeah, with, yeah. I just need some simplicity. Is the key, I guess. And yeah, I need to adopt that. Um, So speaking of simplicity is the key, I guess, um, is a little bit of what I wanted to talk about today was maybe, um, yeah, so the things that stress you out that shouldn't stress you out. A lot of our commenters on um, Facebook, especially different social media, on news stories are stressing themselves out, I feel like. Um, They get very hyped or heightened up about whatever it is that we're writing about and they always have weird um, logical fallacies is what I call them. Yeah. 
So, for example, the newest story to come out um, is basketball came to a close. Uh, they released the repercussions of what happened to the incident, the QHS incident with Mike Dade. Yeah. And one of the commenters wrote on there, um, you know, good for you or cool. Good for you for getting that FOIA. Now, sure. Now get a FOIA for the Denman principal. Yeah. And my argument i guess or not i, I don't want to say it's an argument my problem with that is um you sound like a a dumbass yeah you know like you're that's not the way to get things done i well, guess i think um, it's like hijacking a thread for one because it has nothing to do with that right no, and this is a very serious matter that we've tried to do uh our due diligence yes. in, in doing it and now all of a sudden we've done it and, and it's like, good for you. Good now, for you. On to the next thing. Now on to the next which thing. Which it is our job. Yes. And I do I do appreciate, and we all do at Muddy River News, the feedback that we get from people in this community about what they want to learn more about. Uh, but that being said, like you were saying earlier. Don't get so angry about well, it. There's a right the, way and a wrong way yeah. to commu communicate. Uh, it's called tact. And I think a lot of times... Uh, people just kind of lose sight of that, especially online, on social media. We talk about it time and time again. But Muddy River News is always open to feedback. We, we post emails. Um, you can get a hold of us through any channel. We're but always it, looking for content. Yeah, but but putting it in a comment thread that doesn't pertain to anything that was posted, that kind of just makes you look like, ooh, the next shiny thing. Or, ooh, uh, I hate Muddy River News, so I'm just going to come on here and be a complete jackass, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. it's It's crazy how in in general so i'm always like i said looking for content or looking for a story or something mm -hmm. and just uh recently i've been doing a lot of research on a story or something that we're going to explore in the future the land bank yeah and somebody overheard me listening or talking about that and they're like oh you're researching that well why don't you do this and it's like i you know do you think people understand what our operation size is? I don't think so. And okay. I don't think they understand also, like, it's a little bit, I mean, I think we can all multitask. I think we all multitask around Very here well, quite yeah. a bit. Mm -hmm. But in regards to some things, some things take focus. And yeah, it, we are a very small knit operation, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, also, things like that are really important, especially, you know, and, and the things like uh, with the, the day story. We don't want to screw it up. I think we've done it a few times in the past where we're like, oh, you know what? Let's just post it, right? And that doesn't make anyone happy either. Yeah. So we want to make sure that we are doing our due diligence. And just because you don't see it today doesn't mean we aren't working on it. So maybe ask a question before being so accusatory, yes. I guess, in tone. Uh, and as far as, um, yeah, the land bank, that's a that's going to be a great story. Sure, yeah. It's going to be great. Um, and I am not always, you know, the most articulate myself. So just letting, like, for those commenters that are getting upset and whatnot in the comment sections, hey, I've been there. I've yeah. done that before. Um, I guess I'm just pointing out there's a better way to do things. I found myself, I've learned, there's a better way to do things. 100%. Other than, I guess, going at it with, in an attack, you know. Yeah. Um, well, I think when you start... When you approach anything, any subject with the glass half empty pessimistic approach, you're looking to be proven right, mm -hmm. I think. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Like you, you're looking to be the person who's right in this situation. And it doesn't do anyone any good, especially you, if the situation it do, isn't going to have a great turnout, but it does prove you right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if you go at it with, uh, hey, if you really want something answered, there's a right and a, and a wrong way to, to go about it. Uh, commenting, yeah, we see it, but it's kind of like that uh, you catch more – Flies, flies with, with honey. honey. Yeah. Not saying that you have to be nice all the time, but it would Catch help you. more flies with honey than, what is it, vinegar? Yeah. Oh, I was like, then the the coffee that we had earlier. Right? Yeah, that was really bad. <laughs> but, I mean, to the point, because it is a very fair point, uh, my kids go to Denman. I didn't know anything about this story. Same. Uh, I don't know well, if not it's, with my kids, but yeah, yeah, I didn't know anything I either. don't know how much truth is behind uh, what, what's being stated online. I don't know if there is something newsworthy there or if they just decided to leave. But it, if it is a story, you can bet your bottom dollar Muddy River will at least cover it right to a certain extent yes so that we can inform the public and get information for ourselves so yeah. uh but i would recommend that if you have an idea for a story or a topic that we can talk about 
you go to muddyrivernews.com, scroll to the bottom. Yeah. And just message us. It's there. Uh, but when you put it out there, it's almost like you're looking for validation from other people to get on this hater train. And I think that's one of the biggest downfalls of social media. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. oh, I'm going to throw this out there and see if it sticks and see how many people like it. Instead Nobody... of putting an idea out there for yourself, like on your own. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and this particular it's... commenter is normally posting oh, not yeah, so but, great things. But he's so... not the only one. There's no, he's lots, not the only one. There's lots yeah. of people. And like I said, just uh, yesterday when I was at when I was working and I was discussing this in public and somebody had overheard in public, well, why aren't you doing this? It's like, I promise you, like, I will get on that maybe yeah. too. But as of right now, you're comparing apples to oranges. Yeah. These are different stories. So I don't know. And I, you can't do everything at once. I mean, there are what, how many full-time like active people here? Four or five. Yeah. In the office. I'm not included. Right. I mean, we have other people who help all the time, uh, but it's, it's a relatively small operation, and I think as, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and pat everybody here on the back. I think everybody does a really good job of um, being pretty comprehensive, doing their due diligence, posting things in a timely manner that inform the public, and um, very relevant, I think. So there are going to be... why don't you do better? Yeah, but we, <laughs> we're going to do better. No, and, and if the point is to get on, you know, a story that you know a lot of people are going to read and just say something negative, we see it. It just doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Because we're busy. Yeah. Right? So as we're busy doing good things, trying to do good things, moving forward uh, with information and relevancy. We're also sipping our coffee and making fun of your logical fallacies. Right. Yeah. And and what I say the last time, uh, you know, do what you do, but when you know better, do better. Yes. Yeah. I'm totally butchering that, but yeah, come on. Know better, do better. Yeah. Like I just said, I... I promise you, there's there's a better way to this. Hundred percent. Yeah. 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 So I look forward to reading those messages Go, that come through the the correct way. Yes. Right. Yes. Which I think okay. So it's news at muddyrivernews dot is it org or com? I always screw it up. Org. Sorry. Come on, oh. producer. Com. Bob. Sorry. Sorry. You just scroll down news. to the bottom. <laughs> Or you can go on like our Facebook and message, you know. But if you just in put messenger, it, yeah, in, in messenger, the for yeah, for the bandwagon approach, it's not going to work. Not going to happen. All Sorry, right. uh, but we will get to stories, uh, you know, if they're true and 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 relevant to to the community. We will we will touch on it. So, all right. On that note, I think that does it for today's coffee talk. Catch you here next time. Muddy River News, our home, our news.